everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes and welcome to my channel, welcome into my studio. If you're not already subscribed, uh, please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button uh, below the video or on the Anne Makes in the corner of your screen, whichever one it is. <laughs> and there's a little bell and if you click on that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Today I'm off camera. We have issues with the equipment here today. <laughs> I don't understand when my other tripod just won't uh, stay vertical, but uh, yeah, well, I'll deal with that later. So for today, you're going to see my hands and you're going to see what I have to show you. So what I have to show you is a Dollar Tree haul. That's right. Today is Dollar Tree haul time. I, uh, for those of you who are new here, I do post a lot of Dollar Tree, Dollarama, Michaels, and other arts and craft supplies, and all, all places that I find arts and craft supplies, especially for cheap. That is what I like to do. And along with that, anything else that I purchased while I was at those stores, I'll share that with you because I do a lot of DIYs and how-tos. I have a blog, I share uh, crafting tips and tutorials on that, and I also have DIY and how-to videos on this channel. So please uh, stay tuned for those. So as I was saying, I went to Dollar Tree. This is a Dollar Tree haul that I did several days ago the bags have been here in my room i have been slowly getting around to every bag i've just had a lot of work to do so uh here is what i got i picked up a bunch of their halloween cards that they have the hallmark halloween cards i just love the ones with the kitty cats i got uh, this one and then i picked this up for uh one of my sons to give at Halloween because it's just so darn cute and it says uh, son once you were a cute little devil and inside it says now you're a handsome devil <laughs> happy Halloween I don't usually give them cards at Halloween but I couldn't resist when I saw this these ones and this one uh, is for my older son and it's there's a pumpkin on here if you, I don't know if you can see it's kind of it's very very pretty in person and it says son you're so you're such a you're a bright spot in our family for all the ways you bring happiness your wish to halloween that is happy and fun for you so uh yeah and he's my pumpkin so that's that's who will be getting that and there's just so many beautiful halloween cards at the dollar tree right now these are all the hallmark cards and I think they're all a dollar if I'm not mistaken and this I love this vintage looking one and the the thing I like about these cards is reusing them as a lot of decorative elements or as inserts and in journals not just to to give to people but of course I will be giving cards this year and I could not resist I can't resist anything with a black cat and it's a perfect time of year for me to find things with black cats just like this card here and this one is a black cat it's harder to see and it's saying boo so yeah so these are the cards i picked up and i picked up uh, several copies of each one for some craft projects got this clear acrylic plate it's very hard now i had seen i saw people haul a lot of those uh, decorative well the packaging is decorative tissue pocket sized tissues uh, but what I wanted, uh, well, when I saw this, I said, oh, this, I should get this kind for, for us. These are menthol sensitive Renova pocket size tissues. And so they're, they're supposed to be softer on your nose, you know, especially if you have a cold. And that is our, my thing. It's just like when I have a cold and I'm blowing my nose like, I, you know, I've got a runny nose and I, oh, it's just so uncomfortable. So I really uh, appreciate finding tissues that have some sort of lotion added to them so they're softer. So this is why I got, got this one with Mickey. 
I should have done this a long time ago because uh, here's a, a very inexpensive way to get a real Mickey Mouse that you can use in crafting and decorating projects, especially if you have children. And they have a whole bunch of these party supplies with the Mickey theme and you know, they're really inexpensive and uh, they're so cute. So I got a package of these napkins just to use in either scrapbooks or, you know, some um, crafts. And you actually get 20 of these. So you get 20 of the two-ply Mickey Mouse napkins. I picked up another package of the adhesive label holders uh, just because when I start, I get an idea to organize something and I, I use up the labels to organize boxes, binders, whatnot. I'll run out so I'll have another pack. And so these are the, their, their intention is that you stick them on the edge of binders and you slip in the paper with, you know, to identify what the content of the binder is. But no, there's no rule saying that you can't use these on boxes too. This, the, this Dollar Tree finally had the tweezer scope, tweezer scope, so it's like a little magnifying glass with tweezers attached on a hinge. Uh, this, the intention is to be used in crafting, uh, especially with beading and any type of craft that you really need precision work and you really need to see very, very up close what you're doing. So I just thought, wow, what a good deal that is. Oh, this Dollar Tree finally put out a few more of the Halloween and Thanksgiving decorations. And I really wanted to get two more of these trucks and the pumpkins that swivel there. So when I saw them, I was very happy. I got the two more that I wanted is this sign now it's it's really hard to show to you but this is the the sign here can you see that okay it's got a long stick and i have an idea of how i can kind of i could i say bling not maybe not bling it up but just do a little something to this sign and make it a little bit nicer or fancier. It's very pretty as it is, but I, I just want to do something else to it. Maybe soup it up a bit. <laughs> I saw at another big craft store a similar sign, but with a little bit more details and at a much higher price than $1.25. So, I'm, and I have an idea of how I'm going to do that. It's a new season, so it's time for new sponges and new loofahs, you know, in the house. So I got uh, this for me and this for uh, anybody that needs a sponge. So I also got a package of these napkins with the pretty pumpkin and all the background words. And I actually use these uh, in the fall on my dining room table, you know, make meals, but I also keep some in my craft stash for projects. I got this package of headbands. There's four pieces in here, and that's a really good deal, actually, for headbands. Uh, but I chose these, uh, well, when I saw these, I said, oh, this could be used in a crafting project as a trim, this silver stuff, and uh, maybe the black one, too, I'm not sure, or I could use them as hairbands, but I just th saw, thought the silver was a good idea to get like this and just use the trim. Use it as just for the trim, not just for the headband. So for the price I paid, I get a lot for my money. Now I'm lucky because this Dollarama sometimes has things on clearance, like from stuff from last year or the previous season. That's that's what they do. They don't tend to throw the stuff away in my area. They tend to put it on clearance. Uh, so they have these gemstones, and I had bought some at the end of the season last year after Halloween that were in the clearance, but I guess they didn't sell them out, and they put them out this year, or because they ran out of Halloween stuff, they took out the old stuff that they still had, I don't know, but they uh, have a bunch of items at 50 cents, so I am stocking up. So I got the gems here for 50 cents. And I also got some garlands here, Halloween garlands, uh, at 50 cents. Now, I'm thinking, 
I don't, uh, for a project I have in mind, I can just cut off the skulls if they're not going to fit in with the project that I need. And I, I mean, I just paid 50 cents for the product. So I'm very happy for that. And so I got, they had three um, on the clearance rack, so I got the three that they had. And another, oh, and I got this guy. He was on clearance for 25 cents. It is a cute little owl. I'm sure this is from last year, but I don't care. I, for 25 cents, this will be great in a little uh, decoration project. And what else did they have? I got two of these uh, buckets. They're copper colored. They're really pretty color. And now they're stuck together. The, you know, the flower bucket vases whatever you want to call them i just think this is a really pretty rich color and very nice for fall and yeah that's why i thought you know i'd get them for any type of diy i got a few of these pumpkins they're very lightweight the decor pumpkins i just love the richness of this color it's kind of, so it's 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 orange but it's a really like blood red orange I would say it's just gorgeous I got a I think a couple of those and a couple of these kind of creamy white pumpkin ones just because I thought they're really I got some of these bronze or cop what do you call this copper copper colored uh like maple leaves with tons of glitter and they have a little clip there on the back these are fun to use on reefs on any type of decoration that you want to do you know for uh the fall season so i got that they had a section where uh they were trying to sell off what was left of summer items they weren't they weren't reduced uh, so i just picked them up because i i don't think i had picked these up before and these are just palm tree stirrers and I just thought I would get them for the palm trees themselves. Maybe if I need to use a little, I need a little embellishment, I can, you know, cut it off and just get the little palm tree. And the same thing with the flamingo stirrer, stirrers here. Um, I just thought I could use these as embellishments or something. So that's, to me, I was looking at this more as a crafting thing than a party thing. I got one of these little candles. Uh, this one is the apple flower and it has a very nice light scent. So I got this one because it's pink. I like the little lid. I can reuse this after the candle is gone. And yeah, this uh, is safer because, you know, the candle is inside this jar. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I found these bottles. And I thought they were really pretty. And, you know, since there's a lot of this kind of stuff for Halloween and they, they decorate them, you can, you know, I've seen so many of these things. I just had to get them. They're just really pretty, like silver, full mercury glass bottles with this nice clear glass knob at the top. And you can actually use it for some sort of liquid um, or, you know, maybe turn it into a potion bottle for Halloween, uh, you know, pre make, present this with something lovely that you've made for a, per for a, a gift. So yeah, I just thought these were really pretty bottles. So I got a couple of those. A bottle of the fragrance booster for laundry. They have these little Disney frozen clay buddies. So in here you get a, just a, I, I can feel there's a clump of clay in here, you know, like plastic, you know, you know, child safe clay and instructions in the pieces to make an Olaf. And apparently you can make four different kinds of Olafs with the little pieces they give you inside, but I think it's all just cardboard. So I got one. I thought that might be fun to see which one of the four Olafs uh, I'll be able to make. Because I, I picked up some more of the washi, some of these 
tissue tasseled garlands and I picked up the one I picked up I think two of these this one uh, one garland with nine tassels and this one is uh, white gold and black tassels and so they're kind of they're like crepe paper and foil and I just thought these might be fun to have on hand for um, New Year's or any other you know celebration that we have uh, this is very like I think it's very festive and it's also very neutral it's great for graduations great for New Year's great for anniversaries so I got that I got two of those and I also got two of the very colorful tassels that are multiple colors because I thought this is great for uh, hanging during celebrations uh, you know that are more summery and spring-like uh, birthdays you know children's birthdays so yeah I got these I also picked up some of the hanging decorations the tissue pom-pom garlands these are all in pink and I just thought these might be cute to decorate here in my studio and it's one garland that measures nine feet and there's six palms on each and I got two of those I also got this package of this filler paper uh, that is it looks like it's very shiny it's very hard to give it justice on the camera here but it like the plasticky paper and it's very shimmery and white and when it catches the light it reflects different colors so I just thought that I wanted to try uh, this or just I'm just gonna put in my stash actually to use with some other specialty papers that I have oh I got another pair of these earphones I have a pair like this and they still work they work fine uh, but the winding mechanism just doesn't work anymore. So uh, I got another set. I got a roll of the Minions <laughs> just because I think the Minions are adorable. So yeah, with just, just decorative tape with Minions. Some more of the uh, 50 cent on clearance Halloween items. I got these sayings that say trick or treat boo eek and spooky so what a good deal these are and they are they were 50 cents so i got the orange i got a couple of black and a couple of orange that they had so these are great for all sorts of decorations for halloween or for making scrapbooks or for making cards or oh, so many things purple one i don't use a lot of purple in my halloween stuff but I did get one purple. Lucky, they, I found some books at this store. Uh, I got this book, Fighting Back the Right, Reclaiming America from the Attack on Reason. The Best Worst President, What the Right Gets Wrong About Barack Obama. So uh, yeah, that'll be a, a fun read, a good read probably. And then I saw, oh, uh, this might, be a, a good book to give as well Malika Chopra living with intent so yeah so a lot of these books I'm I'm thinking you know are gonna be great to have for presents uh, you know I'm thinking of the people who would read these and this one I got just for the heck of it check this one out knitted icons this is I laughed with this one 25 celebrity doll patterns includes patterns for Madonna Elvis the Queen Mr. T Gandhi and more and it's so I think it's funny it's actual knitting patterns to make dolls that that replicate famous people even like Gandhi and oh see Marilyn Monroe, Abraham Lincoln. Uh, oh, some of them are just James Dean. Some of them are just so funny. I can't. Oh, Madonna. <laughs> oh, oh, Warhol. Oh, the Beatles. <laughs> the Beatles knitted dolls. 
So, uh, yeah, even if I never use the patterns in this, I've already gotten my money's worth just by the giggles I've gotten from looking at the images. And then I picked up this one. It's Di Paolo's Guide to the Essential Foods of Italy. 100 Years of Wisdom and Stories from Behind the Counter. And it is filled with photographs. Yeah. So, and it's got these great photographs of... Um, of this family um, who, you know, worked in the, the field of, in delicatessen, it's really Italian delicatessens, and it's just, uh, you know, there's recipes in here, and they talk about how to buy the right type of prosciutto and stuff, so I just thought this might be a really fun read for the avid uh, amateur chef. And I picked up a package of the, and it's Polaroid, so it's a brand, Polaroid Premium Photo Paper. You get eight sheets in here, which is pretty good. Suitable for inkjet printers uh, to print out photos. So, I don't print out a lot of photos, uh, but uh, sometimes I just want to print out some photos for some sort of project or to, you know, to make a quick gift for someone, then I'll have the paper. And I got this book. It's uh, I Can Draw That on Ocean Animals. Learn to Draw with Easy to Understand Instructions. And work, start with basic shapes and work in the details. Got this lovely long vase. And I just thought it was a really nice shape. And I just like how it, it you know, comes out at the top here. So I just got this nice vase that could be for, uh, of course, for flowers and other DIYs and decorations. Got some loofahs for the guys in these nice dark colors. These are pretty good. These last uh, quite a while. I've bought them some uh, before and I'm surprised they seem to last longer than the ones I like for myself. <laughs> Plus they the cord, the cord on them is nice and they have a little suction cup so it's great especially for my guys that if they bring this with their gym bag go to the gym you know and they just kind of on the shower <laughs> where they are so they don't forget their their loofah or they don't just you know put it somewhere where it's less hygienic got these colors for picked up some of these self-adhesive hooks in the silver just because uh, I was just thinking of putting these in a bathrobe and I just thought the silver would go better. I got these mirror type of wall decorations, Main Street Wall Creations, peel and stick. Uh, they're removable, they're the mirror ones. And I got the one uh, here, I got this one that says Paris because, well, I just thought, uh, we will be going to Paris very soon, and I just have when we come back, maybe I will want to make some sort of picture frame or scrapbook or something, and maybe I could use this. So, that. I picked up some more of these self-adhesive hooks, got some of the little silver ones, and I got the tiny ones here in white, very, very tiny ones. So, just... Very handy to have. I bought a couple more of these candle stands, uh, these black candle stands just for Halloween decorations. I got one of each of these fun uh, Trivoli nail polish. I just wanted to get the colors, they're jewel-like colors. So I got one of each that they had and this one too. So this. So these are the colors. So the other thing I found was an ampersand and since it's an A, ampersand at, I just thought that would be cute here in my office. So I just got that. Oh, I picked up my turtles because I love turtles. 
And last but not least, I picked up a couple packages of the chopping mats, the semi-clear. You get two in here, which is a very good value. I find so many uses for these uh, besides my kitchen. I'm, these are now going in my kitchen. These are staying in my craft room, and I just have so many uses for these things. I cut them up to use the plastic for a project. I use them as dividers in uh, my papers. I use them in my craft carts. Uh, I use them to protect surfaces, to carry projects from one place to another. And when they get really gunky, I really don't mind uh, rinsing these off and tossing them in the recycling bin because it's just so inexpensive, so practical. So that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. I hope uh, you were entertained and if you liked this video, it's so appreciate a uh, thumbs up, a uh, like, a comment, please share. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. And until next time, stay crafty, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Before I leave, I forgot. I was forgetting this little uh, doodad that was in the bottom of the bag. It is a mug sleeve. So it's not, doesn't have a lot of stretch, but you can put this around like your coffee cup or your mug or, you know, your disposable cup. And it's got the, the uh, sequins that change color. So it's pink. I got this one in, that's pink and changes to silver. So uh, yeah, I just, oh, what a cute doodad to have and, you know, put in a, somebody's stocking or give, give us a gift, you know, give a cup of coffee to a friend or someone in the office or maybe a teacher. <laughs> just a fun uh, thing, you know, just a decorative way to give someone a cup of coffee and it doesn't cost too much.